Hello, welcome if this is your first visit to my channel and hello again if you're a subscriber and have previously seen some of my videos. Today I'm looking at connecting a Weidmuller controller to Influx database in the cloud and as you can see from my screenshot that we're going to make use of Node-RED to do this. So although this video is relating to Weidmuller products, the principle is exactly the same for any device that supports Node-RED, for example a Raspberry Pi. So in the Weidmuller world, at the time of creating this video, there are five different products we offer that support this. So we have the UC20 WL2000, and then we have the higher end controllers, the M3000, M4000. And we have a couple of IoT gateways as well. First thing we need to do is go online and create an account on the Influx website. So let's do that now. So we just search for Influx DB login. And I'm going to use this one, Cloud2. So click on there. And you can either enter your works email address here or use a Gmail or a Hotmail address. So I'm going to use a Gmail address. Just put any information here. Um, I'm going to put here for my organization, I'm actually going to use my email address. And then just, you can pick which region of the world you want to have your uh, data stored. So as we're in the UK, I'll go for EU Frankfurt. You should read the documentation, you review that, click on there, continue. And you'll see that as with any cloud-based service, they are chargeable, but we can, for testing purposes, we'll just open a free account. Gives you a bit of detail of what you can do, no credit card details required, so, so keep that. Okay, so that's the view you get. So the first thing we need to do is create a bucket so you're probably wondering what a bucket is a bucket is basically a collection of data points so you could also think of it as a folder for the device so within that folder or bucket we'll have all your tags of the variables you want to log into your database so to create a bucket you go into load data and you go to buckets and you automatically get these two you can either delete them or leave them alone we're not using them you need to create a new bucket so you go over to here and then you give it a name so i'll call it um, node red that's good enough and the retention is 30 days so you can def so let me just check that again data retention preferences yeah so it will retain 30 days worth of data so I guess that is a limitation of the free version, but it's more than adequate for testing. Okay, so give it a name, set the retention period, create. There we are. So there's a few bits of information we need to make a note of that we'll need to transfer the information into the Node-RED project. So the first thing is your location where you're actually having your data stored, which is here. So you can literally copy that, open up WordPad or Notepad or somewhere and save that information. So I will open up Notepad and I will put in there that. Okay, so you need to keep that somewhere safe. And then you need to also find your API key or create an API key. So you click in here and we can go create API token all access this token will enable you to create update and delete and read and write anything in the organization fine so I'll just call it node red void Muller save that and then you get a long key there so copy to clipboard go back to your notepad or wherever you're saving it 
and save that. Okay, so that's your API key. You also need to make a note of the bucket name. So let me just show you that again. So I go to buckets. Sorry. Enter that. So there we are. There's my API key. Go back to buckets. And my bucket is called node red. So I can make a note of that as well. So go back into my notepad and bucket node red and that's API key and location okay so save all that information pull it to one side oh, you will also need to make a note of your organization that you've entered so in my case my organization was my actual email address Okay, so now we've set up all the information in InfluxDB, we can actually go to the controller. So that's my controller. It's a UOS controller. It really doesn't matter if it's a UCreate Web or UOS. I just log into there. Your credentials will be different to mine. They're whatever you set up on the UOS controller. Okay, so once it's loading, we can go to the control center. Go to the apps and open Node Red. Open Node Red, it's all running OK. Open that. Open OK, so just say not right now to that. And I'm going to create a new flow. I'm making use of two nodes within the Node Red project to send data to the Influx database. So I'll just show you what they are. I'm not going to go through the process of installing them, that should be fairly straightforward. Go into Manage Palette, go to Note nodes I have that's all my nodes and these are the nodes I had to install so you want to make a note of these node red fontrib influx db so you have four nodes there within that package and then also this one here random generator node red contrib so using that I can generate random numbers to send to a database because I've got no IO. So it's a nice simple way of generating some data and send it to the database. Okay, so let's now look at what you need to put into the flow to generate two different um, values. So I go inject and I'm going to give it a topic name var1. Sorry, I need to get it to repeat every one second. So an interval of every one second, it's going to generate a random number. Okay, so I can copy that. Control copy, Control V, double click into it, and I'm going to call that var2. And again, it's going to be repeat injected every one second. So I now add the blocks that create the random number. So they're actually called num. So I drag that in, make sure you get the right node, double click into there and I'm going to say generate a random number between 0 and 10, it's two decimals, OK, set that and then I'm going to pick another one, Control C, Control V, put it down again and I'll make that between 0 to 100 and to 3. OK that, join the two and then we want to use the join command to send both pieces of data at the same time. So drag that there, join that to that, and click in here and pick manual, message payload, a key value pair. In other words, the name, var1, and the value that's generated. So the name is coming from the topic. And that's count of one after each one yeah okay so click on there and then we send them to the actual influx node so influx so it's the influx out node back to there and no to red triangle because we haven't configured it so click into here add new click on there and you want to pick version 2 because if you remember we picked a version 2 
see if we can see it. There you go, cloud two. Remember we picked that. So it's version two. The local host will be the address of the server that we made a note of. So you could go back to your notepad, copy and paste that. Remember to have the uh, forward stroke at the end. So copy that, put that in here. Go back to your notepad again and copy the API key. Control copy, Control C, Control V into here. Give it a name, influx. Add that. Okay, then you've got to put your organization. So your organization, if you remember in my case, was my email address. So I just copy and paste that again. And the book it was whatever name you called it. I called mine node red. So again, copy and paste that. The measurements can be just called random and we can have a time precision of one seconds good enough and then we give a name to the whole thing so random values publish to influx db and if we want to we can put a debug node so we can just see what's coming out of here so let's just try that now deploy it Go to debug, current flow only, and there we have a value. So we've got 10 and 63, 8 and 63, 8 and 20, 77. Yeah, so we're getting two values one between 0 and 10, and one between 0 and 100. So that's all working fine. Testing that's the node red part of the project complete. So what we can now do is we should be publishing data to InfluxDB. So if I switch back to the InfluxDB tab, Go into go into Data Explorer. In the bucket, use the pull down, and you've got the two that were previously there. But hopefully, you've got the node red one you created, or whatever you called your bucket. And then the measurement I called mine random. So click in here, pick random, and then I can pick my two variables. And if you notice, what it's actually doing is constructing a SQL query to read the data. So it's looking at the past one hour. I can say look at the last five minutes and go run. Okay, so didn't like that. What we're doing wrong. Ah, okay. It's actually okay. Let's get rid of that. What it's done is entered the request twice, so let's try that again. There you go. So the request should be select everything from my measurement called random where the time is from now to five minutes and look for var1 and var2 i'm not an expert on sql requests but there you go that's created it for me so there you now have a table showing you your values and you can move that up and see them coming in so that's quite nice and you can go to graph and you see a graph of the values as well. So I'm looking at graph var1, and I can look at the other value instead, var2. Okay, and I can do this, zoom in on a particular area, and you can move the pointer of your mouse and see the value at any particular point in time. Okay, well that's good timing. My laptop battery has just died. But to be honest, um, that's really as far as I wanted to go in this video. I just wanted to show you how you get data from Node-RED into InfluxDB database. And the rest is up to you. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I will be creating a follow-up video which will be relating to connecting this InfluxDB cloud service to Grafana cloud service which is basically a better software for visualizing the data you've gathered by Node-RED. So that will be the next video in this series. So thanks for watching, take care, bye for now.